Hello and welcome back, everybody. I'm gonna screw with Ubuntu for fun. Not to do anything productive. Arm dash or F slash asterisk. This command says remove recursively and forcefully everything underneath of the hard drive. Right away. A lot of shit in proc and sys is not getting deleted. Oh wow, a lot of icons disappeared. That's pretty interesting. I think our YouTube video is struggling. I can still move things. So the window manager is at least in memory. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's just lost its JPEG. It's still functional. Oh, command line returned. LS not found, huh? 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 Ubuntu, how well did you delete yourself? Let's spin you up in a live disk. Wow. A surprising amount of shit is left. I was expecting a empty file system, maybe even a corrupted file system, but there's actually shit left. Now here's the question. Can you fix this? If you can apt-get install by setting a root. Is that possible? I think this is probably the right way to do it. We're gonna have to download the packages one at a time. And then dpkg install them into our really fucked up Ubuntu. Apt get download bash. Okay. Look at this form. It's got the answer. Okay, now we're gonna dpkg install force not root dash dash root equals slash mnt dot slash bash well whatever the fuck that error is is that really the file it's complaining about is this file if that's the case maybe work we got to make dir dash parent and then we can run that touch command then maybe we can run the dpkg got us a little bit closer and it wants this directory so mkdir dash parent that directory try again oh, it wants this directory too no it wants a file so make dir dash parent and then we want to touch that uh, dpkg again yeah errors happened but it tried it needs this it needs dash Plop in dash. Go back up here. Put a dot slash dash on there. Okay, we got another error. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute, I think. Libc six. Star dot deb. It's a smart way to do that, I think, because now we just have to download whatever dependency is missing. For some reason that. One doesn't want to install. For 
so here's the files that we have at the moment. Um, I think things are getting a little bit screwed up because there's not very many of them. This is what my root file system of my live CD looks like. Build 2. Okay, you could do this manually, but I'm just feeling lazy. These are the files that I want. This should make all the missing ones. Plus some. Let's do an, L an ls. And hey, we have directories now. Do an ls in Etsy, and you'll notice it's empty. So it's more whole than it was before. Hooray! Try that dpkg command again. Okay, so things are pretty fucked up, and it doesn't want to install anything in that fucked up mess. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and patch a few things by cp-ar slash varlib dpkg. Going to copy these files over. Going to check, make sure we got the files copied. Okay, yep, they look right. Cool. So maybe the DPKG will install now? No. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. So yeah, uh, DPKG doesn't want to install shit for us. And you know what? I'm done dicking with it. So we're gonna just copy over. We're just gonna copy the root live cd shit over the root cd shit and see, see what happens <laughs> highlight everything and deselect oops dev sys and proc with control also we don't want to copy our mnt file so we'll deselect that as well copy paste all right so we're going to merge all of the folders as far as replacing files, I'm not going to because it's a repair, right? So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and skip those. Okay, so I downloaded the, the kernel. Let's try to install it. Okay, another package needs to be downloaded. Go back to the download, download. How many of them are there going to be? Dash dash force. Damn it. CP boot VMNS the MNT boot. The first things first is I need to do an LL of dev. Disks by UUID, find SDA1. So this is the UUID of SDA1. We'll VI SEFS tab. <laughs> Relook at this syntax, because I need UUID gets the UUID slash. EXT4 ACL. I don't think those are necessary. I'm just gonna go with 1 1. I think that should be fine. Probably, maybe. Let's try that again. Remake the RAM disk. Okay, theoretically, we have a kernel and a RAM disk. Let's reboot. Actually, verify first. Boot. Well, we've got, we even have a grub file. We've got ourselves initRD, and we got ourselves a kernel. Let's check out the grub file. Oh, okay, maybe it's in here. Yeah, it's not configured at all right. The grub file is just screwed the hell up. Uh, I'll just do it manually. So, we're going to restart this, and we're going to unmount that. 
Okay, so here's our broken grub install. Linux boot, and there it is. And let's try it. So it half booted. Uh, we're stuck in the RAM disk, meaning it failed to boot uh, fully. I think I'm supposed to mount our real root under root. So mount dev sda. Doesn't have disk drivers, really. Yikes. Ubuntu, your RAM disk utensils suck balls. If I were to do that on SUSE, it would include disk drivers. I think that's kind of the idea. It would include disk drivers without me having to put a fudge load of options that I don't want to figure out. I wonder. What if I have SUSE help out a little bit here? And we'll just use the SUSE tools to recover the rest of this. Because Ubuntu's tools. Eh. Okay, so this half working Ubuntu from the RM is about to turn into something else. <laughs> something else. We added OpenSUSE repositories to our Ubuntu root. Now we're going to try to install Zipper. <laughs> Yikes. You will always trust that repository. Always trust this repository. Ooh, that's a typo. Okay, so here is our repositories. Some of them work, some of them don't. This one's broken for sure. Dash dash root mnt re add that. And we'll do a refresh. All right, hey, hey, it's downloading our new repository. All repositories are up to date. We're going to in a zipper. Oh, whoops. Okay, now we're installing the base of SUSE on top of Ubuntu, which is a recovery from broken rm-rf. We're gonna go ahead and ignore that. That's definitely a conflict from installing a bunch of RPMs on top of a bunch of devs. This is stupid. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm curious to know what, what operating system it thinks it is. Still, it thinks it's Ubuntu, so that's something. But. But here's zipper. Lol. <laughs> and apt get on the same system. Hooray. Uh, it still doesn't boot though, so. Yep, zipper. Default. Default.
Let's see if RPM works, because apt-get doesn't. The whole thing is all screwed up. Alright, we're definitely going to ignore that. Just install around the Debian system. Should probably also install grub while we're here. Grab the SUSE version. MK init RD is the SUSE command. This should make a valid in an RD, we hope. Oh, it failed. I think the RAM disk generated, but it didn't zip properly. All right, we're gonna link dash s that to the Ubuntu lo location. Now we're going to rm the old file. Okay. Okay, ram disk, please make yourself. Yeah. That did it. All right. So that was definitely a weird Ubuntu crossover SUSE issue, but it made a RAM disk. We now have boot in it RD shit. Yeah. Let's reboot. Actually, make config boot grub grub.cfg. I forgot the dash O. Give that a try. Okay, let's try that. Why not reboot? That's not gonna work. We're gonna chew root. Hey! It booted, sort of. We're in a RAM disk. So, mount dev SDA. Hey! We have SD devices. Great. Slash root. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Some more weird crossover shit, I'm sure. ln-softlib. Ah, oh, shit. Lib64 is where Sousa puts shit. And it wants lib mount. Okay, our RAM disk is missing a library. Let's reboot. <laughs> so we transferred the host operating system in at RD files over to this computer because it seems to be in <laughs> incapable of generating its own. But yeah, let's give it a shot, why not? Okay, command line Linux gets boot vm linux dash four four it's nine it's the one and then we're gonna have in it it's gonna be boot in it rd four four Nine boot. Something might be wrong with my FS tab. So, okay, let's try this syntax instead. Okay, that might be valid. Okay, well, if that works, great. If that doesn't work, it doesn't work. Wow, 
Okay. Okay, so our catastrophe of operating systems doesn't technically boot, but Grub's installed, and you can true root the system. So I was thinking at this point, I might as well see what the hell it looks like as an actual running system. So I'm going to go ahead and use a recovery method to boot this system, essentially. I'm going to boot my Geeko Linux and true root in and start up the graphical environment to see what the hell it looks like. This could be interesting. I think I'm supposed to mount our real root under root. So mount dev sda Okay, X host plus beautiful. Now we can true MNT. Okay, so this is our weird ass operating system. We do a cat Etsy star RAL star. It's been recovered, sort of, from an rm-rf, sort of. There are more files in root than there used to be. But here's the weird part. Zipper, apt, get. Yes, it does have both commands. One is non-functional. Ah. And look at this, our desktop environment doesn't fully work, but the compiz component and window manager works. So I still think that's a win. It's an all, all around win. We can even run Firefox probably. Yep, can even run Firefox. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Bye.